Welcome back. I'm Stephanie Jones with today's sports. The number four Florida lacrosse team has their home opener tonight against the Jacksonville University Dolphins. The Gators, seen here in their exhibition game against England's national team, are looking to bounce back after a close loss at North Carolina last weekend. The Tar Heels started off hot and went in at the half, leading 7-3. Florida outscored the Tar Heels in the second period thanks to Kitty Cullen and Ashley Bruns, but it wasn't enough as North Carolina won 11-9. Tonight's match starts at 6.30. Speaking of home openers, Gator softball is currently hosting the JU Dolphins as well at Katie Seashell Presley Stadium. After sweeping a tournament this past weekend in Tampa, the Gators look to hold on to their number one ranking and improve their record to 6-0. The Dolphins have lost their past three games and are in Gainesville looking to better their 2-3 record. The Gators are currently tied up with the Dolphins at 0-0. Moving on now to the pool, the Gator men's and women's swimming and diving team is in Knoxville for the first day of the SEC championships. The women go into the meet ranked second in the nation, the highest of any SEC team. The men are also ranked the highest in the SEC at number seven. The Gators competed in preliminaries this morning and finals are starting at 6 p.m. Heading now to the basketball court, the Gators played Alabama last night in Tuscaloosa. Florida had a slow start in the first half, going into the locker room tied up with the Tide at 26. They came out strong, however, in the second half when Walker dishes it out to Murphy, who hits Pat Young with a hook pass, and Young throws it down to put the Gators up by five. The Gators get a defensive rebound as Walker takes it down the court and passes it out to Kenny Boynton, who then sinks it for the three. Next, Bradley Beal drives in but passes out to Boynton, who then swings it to Walker, back to Young for another slam dunk. Beal gets the steal and dribbles it down the court when he finally launches it to Pat Young for the alley-oop. Always a crowd pleaser. Beal breaks the trap and drives through two defenders going all the way for the dunk and then shares a namaste moment with Pat Young. That play was so nice, we want to see it twice. Here he comes again with the slam over Alabama's Musa Gay. And that is enough to send the Gators back to Gainesville victorious, 61-52. Moving now to the hardwood in Baton Rouge, 23rd ranked Mississippi State and LSU battling it out. There were more points scored in the last 30 seconds of overtime than in the last two minutes of regulation. And that's where we go now with the shot clock winding down. LSU's Anthony Hickey makes the layup to put the Tigers up by four. Renardo Sidney will sink this three to put the Bulldogs back within one, but an LSU foul on the next possession ties it back up at 67. Tigers have the ball with four seconds to go, and Hickey with the floater to put the Tigers back on top. And Andre Stringer steal on the inbounds play makes the Tiger upset official at 69-67. Hickey finished the game with eight points and gave the Bayou Bengals something to cheer about. Staying in the Southeastern Conference, Arkansas plays Tennessee tonight in Knoxville. The Volunteers are 5-5 five five in the SEC and they will be looking to pull back-to-back -back wins after defeating the Gators last Saturday 75-70 in Gainesville. If the Vols want to make it past 500, they need to stop freshman B.J. Young, who had 27 points for the Razorbacks in their last game against South Carolina. The Razorbacks played South Carolina on Saturday and they beat the Gamecocks 76 to 65. Arkansas comes in to Thompson Bowling Arena, also 5 and 5 in the SEC. Tip off is at 8 p.m. So Stephanie, tell me, how are our lacrosse team and softball teams ranked right now? You know, they're doing really well. Softball's ranked number 1 in the nation and lacrosse is number 4. Perfect. Thank you very much. Oh, that's great. More news after the break. Stay with us.